somebody asked me a question. Say you're working on a mix in Ableton and you have all your vocal chain set up or you're working on drums in Ableton and you have your drum chain set up and you have a certain way that you work with different plugins and with certain settings and all that sort of thing. Say I'm doing a rough vocal in Ableton and then I want to do a final mix in Pro Tools or I'm doing something in Ableton and I want to replicate the chain in FL Studio. If you're working in Ableton, you obviously can't just bring that chain over to FL Studio, right? You're in Ableton, you're in Pro Tools, you're in FL. You can't move those plugins in between each other. I found a way to do it. I cracked the code on how to get a vocal chain, for example, from Ableton into FL Studio, from Ableton into Pro Tools, from FL Studio into Pro Tools. Check it out. I am going to show you guys how to do it. You have to buy a plugin in order to do it. It's called Blue Cat Patchwork, but I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So we're in Ableton. I'm going to create a vocal chain. I just loaded up Blue Cat Patchwork. This is what it looks like. All these slots allow you to load up different VSTs or components, which run in Logic. So you can load up VSTs or components. VST, VST3, or AU. I'm going to start with a VST3. Okay, I'm going through my list of plugins. I'm going to load up Elysia Envelope, just as an example, and no particular reason. So I'm going to make some changes on it. And the next one, we're going to load up Kilohertz Chorus. This is completely random. So make some changes. You get the idea. You can keep going. This is where you turn them on or off so you can activate or deactivate them. Click it, show editor. I can see my plugins. I'm saving it in this chain. Say I have my chain. I have this all filled out. This is my vocal chain. Then what you want to do is go here, save as, and on my desktop, I'm going to call this decap vocal chain. Save it. Just as an example, say I want to take that vocal chain and move it into FL Studio. So I'm loading up FL. Now let's go to the mixer and say I want to load up this chain on insert one. I'm going to go to blue cat patchwork and then you want to just go load desktop. Boom. There you go. So now with blue cat patchwork, I was able to literally load that exact same vocal chain from Ableton to FL studio. That's how you do it. Do you guys know about that? For me, when I first figured that out, I thought it was real dope. It's a good way to save chains if you move between DAWs. So if I make a chain completely in Ableton, as long as I'm not using stock Ableton plugins, I can then move that chain to FL Studio, move it to Pro Tools, all that. I don't know what you guys think about that, but for me, that's a game changer. Another thing about Blue Cat Patchwork, you guys know in Pro Tools, you can load like AAX files or, you know, there's like another Pro Tools format. You can't load all the VSTs in Pro Tools. But if you use Blue Cat Patchwork, this is a workaround for loading VSTs, Logic AU files, VST3 in Pro Tools. So for any Pro Tools users in here, this is the workaround. Also, if you work in Logic, Logic loads component files, which are AU files. If you use Blue Cat Patchwork in Logic, you can load VSTs, VST3s, all that shit. It doesn't matter if they're effects, or virtual instruments. You can use Blue Cat Patchwork to load any of that. Let's look at the website. Let's see how much it is. It's 99 bucks. If you move a lot between DAWs, I think it's worth it. BlueCatAudio.com, not sponsored, just something I like. So yeah, I recommend that one. It does not do 32-bit plugins. 